CRISPR. It is some kind of technology where you can modify your DNA. And biohacker Josiah Zayner demonstrated that he is injecting himself with DNA to make his muscles bigger. Um, and while he thinks that this will uh, inhibit the genetic marker that keeps your muscles from growing too big, which apparently exists, some people say actually it only helps when you're younger. But he just wants to demonstrate that the possibilities are limitless when it comes to DNA hacking. Um, and it completely blows my mind that CRISPR is a thing right now. I mean, you can modify your DNA according to this guy. Thoughts, five words or less. DNA, no way. CRISPR me. CRISPR, a sandwich at Burger King. You try it first. <laughs> I mean, Darren, would you do this? Yeah, I, I definitely would. Um, I mean, up to this point, they've, except for this guy, they, they've only done tests on animals. Mm -hmm. um, and I think if there's a possibility to, you know, Take out mutations that cause cancer, um, yes. you know, stuff like that. Then why can't we test it? I mean, okay, yeah. I would this guy's definitely just trying to get his muscles bigger. Okay, right? well he's what? an idiot because <laughs> this guy is an actual idiot because one, it's like not safe to inject yourself. Like you have to have a lot of money to have all the tools for that anyway, so it's like not really applicable to the normal everyday peasants like us. <laughs> like, like, it's That's not it. applicable to us. Um, but I mean, <laughs> like in in my family, for example, there's there's a genetic history of type 2 diabetes on my dad's side. If I can possibly take that out, sure, why would I not want to do that, you right. know? Okay. There was a, there's certain genetic treatments that can do stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Like there's a, there's a report that said that there's a certain eye malady that is remedied by just having a certain DNA altering procedure. Mm -hmm. And this guy, when he did inject, I think one of the things he tried to inject in himself was like the glow in the dark gene that allows jellyfish to glow, like mm -hmm. bioluminescence. And while he doesn't glow, apparently the study was like, yeah, he absorbed it for what it's worth. He also used that to make like glow in the dark beer. Yeah. But this has, this is the kind of thing where like, I'm afraid that he's gonna inject himself and then turn into the Hulk. Oh yeah, this is super how the mutants start. <laughs> yes. like this is, and, and to that degree, I would say DN no way for me, but mm -hmm. maybe DNA for others because I would love to live in the world where the X-Men are real. Yeah, would that's not about as scientific as I'm yeah. willing to go on this story. No, I mean, I think as, as long as scientists are, which I think most are as, as far as like the studies that I was looking up, they are trying to use it as a way to help people who have genetic mutations that are extremely harmful to them. Obviously this guy, it seems like he's just like, well, let's get bigger, let's do this, let's do this, let's try. And it's like, great, like you can do that, but shouldn't you be spending your time using this to cure diseases that we yeah, haven't been yeah. able to cure yet? Like in, in, on, in that spirit, he wrote, I wanna live in a world where people get drunk and instead of giving themselves tattoos, they're like, I'm drunk, I'm gonna crisper myself. Oh, Not yeah. exactly the scientific method at work. I love the <laughs> yeah, idea exactly. of like him going to a bar and like flirting with someone and being like, I don't know if you notice I'm really strong. Like, ah, I'm not interested, but I also glow in the dark. And be like, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I don't knock this guy for having the balls to even like use himself as a human guinea pig. You know, I stem cell. I had a friend who had shoulder surgery, and it was his shoulders were really, really injured, and they used his own stem cells to heal him. So I thought that was like super awesome and super cool. I sound so basic, super awesome and super cool. But it is. It's, <laughs> it is, it's right. Fascinating. It's fascinating, but this guy, I mean, the reason why we're knocking this dude is because one, how he looks, two, the way he's presenting this. I mean, didn't he inject himself with poop too, his friend's poop? Yeah, he used his poop to kind of inoculate himself against certain diseases. Which, um, which believe it or not, and on an awesome show called Grey's Anatomy, they did a fecal impaction on Leslie Grossman to help her with be, um, exist with the germs of her roommate because she, had, I guess she had a compromised immune system. Something, so I mean, there's ways of doing this. I think it's cool, I wouldn't CRISPR myself one because you know, in the in the horror movies, the black guy always dies first. I feel like <laughs> I would be, I would inject something and not Let's come back from it. Let's Jason first. Right, you know, yeah. but if like you could. The if, fly, you If know? you could give yourself some kind of, and let your imagination run wild, I don't wanna like restrict this in any way. If mm -hmm. you could give yourself a DNA treatment to change something about you, give yourself some kind of power or ability, what would the one thing be? Money's not an option. Cool hair. You do have a cool no, haircut. No, but I'm really, you know I'm really insecure about my hair. And Why? I wanted to just like always be like full <laughs> and like curly and 
Grace, you could totally have that without. Have happen, there, right? well, I can take you to no, a salon. No, I want to crisper on it, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> we can I make know that I happen. could go to a hairdresser <laughs> and ask specifically for what I would like, but it never happens. You that want to leave? So we going got to inject you. Myself What's with the, drugs. Is it the asking that's the problem or the execution that's the problem? No, it's really good the day that I, I mean, we don't need to get into this, but it's really good the day I get it cut, and then the day that I go to sleep and wake up, I'm like, oh God, like I don't know what to yeah. do. So. It looks great. Let's yeah. just put it, leave it at that. Yeah. Um, I thought you were like my thing is like I don't know what to say to a barber. Well, you're like, what would shorter, you, please. You take a picture. You? I want some more time, Darren. Um, Besides the thing that yeah. would actually benefit your health. Yeah. So just based on the fact that I like played basketball in college, I'd want to be like like six one, six two. So it's like a little bit taller. You're I feel like I feel like, like six foot. Well, no, I'm five ten, but I feel like a couple inches for like our position that we played. Mm -hmm. I I could have played like D one. Yeah, you probably could have. So just a couple more inches gotcha. on my height would be mm -hmm. good. <laughs> I that's I, a great question. I don't think. Um, yeah, I don't. I mean, I pretty much like I don't have my family has a history of heart disease. Yeah. So I think I would want to be able to extrapolate and eradicate any kind of um, detrimental diseases I could possibly get in, in my older age. As far as my body now, I think I'm happy. I would love a bigger butt. I could buy a bigger butt. I have underwear that gives me a bigger butt, and I could do squats. <laughs> so I mean, I, yeah, I just think I, a more healthy genetic things I would remove that could possibly be problems later on. I would like hip arms. Hip arms. I got things that can do stuff over here. I got things that do things over here. Oh, in the middle. You want them? Hip, in the I middle. want the arms in the middle. Oh, like, like an a extra centipede, set of like, of, like an ant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like an ant. Yeah. I want Human hip ant. arms, like coming out of here, so I could be like reading the paper, and then I don't know, doing yeah, my what taxes. What are you doing down there? <laughs> while you're <laughs> Probably, probably, actually, now that you, oh now that you mention it, probably Max debating. Probably a little Max With debating. With both hands <laughs> while you're reading? Like while the you're paper. reading, and then, and then you then just you have two hands, given a double hand. I'd go diagonal. I'd do these two hand? up and a one hip hand. hand. <laughs> one a hip hand and, an, and a hand up here. Grace, how did you and figure out my technique? Would, wow. Yeah, the double hand. The double hand. hand. 